Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and I am very excited to announce that the next quarterly edition of the magazine for consumers is now available in designs for you to create, share, however you'd like. So first thing we're going to do is, uh, obviously to find it, is we're going to go into designs to start creating it. So you'll go down to this applet right here of designs. Uh, then we're going to go right up here to the create design portion to find it. Uh, this is a printable magazine, so it is in print here. We'll go ahead and hit continue. And that's going to open right up to uh, the templates here. Now, I was just in here. You're going to be able to find it under the lead generation tab and go to personally branded zine. And as you can see, we've seen all the other magazines we've had here. Now it's time for our fourth edition one. Super exciting. So from there, we're just going to go ahead and hit use. Once you hover over it, you'll see that use button pop up. We'll select that. Now, some some of the items of how we've created the magazines in the past has changed just slightly. So uh, I'll go over those briefly with you. Uh, first things first, this is a 20 page magazine. We can see that right over here at 20 pages. You can click that and you're gonna be seeing all the pages. Now here's the important thing to know. Um, the 20 pages, you're not gonna be using every single one of them. It should give you three choices for uh, for the front cover. So if you want, if you like this style, uh, kind of just neutral home for the holidays with someone staying at home, you've got that. If you wanna gear this more towards, uh, you know, it, currently it's October. If you wanna gear this more in November, uh, uh, maybe drop it off with some pop buys for uh, Thanksgiving time. You could do that, uh, and this would be a perfect cover for that. Uh, or maybe you want to just jump on it right now. Maybe you have a fall harvest festival for clients or anything like that. You just want to get it out as soon as possible. It's a great fall edition photo right here. Now, here's the thing, too. Just because these are the pictures in the front does not mean you have to do that. If you have a nice uh, picture of maybe your town in fall or something like that, and you want to put that right there instead, you can actually replace any of these images. You just upload it in the add image portion right here, and you'll be able to upload them directly there. So don't feel like you have to use these photos. You can change the text in here all right in there. So that's the first thing you're going to do. So let's just go ahead. We're going to say we're going to use this as the cover photo though and go from there. Well, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get rid of these other two ones because we're not using them. All these 20 pages are ones that are connected right here in our um, magazine at this point. So we're going to hit these three dots and we're going to delete that one. Yep. And we're going to hit the three dots on this one because we're not making this one either. And we're going to hit delete on this one too. And we're going to do yes. So right there, now we've got our page one still right here uh, that we're going to start with. Then we're going to move to page two, uh, or, as, or we're going to kind of continue through here. Now there's a couple of things we, we need to change on our uh, page here. Uh, first thing is we'll change the logos. I have my logos already saved uh, in here, so I can just drag and drop. Uh, we'll do this one right there, and it just uh, I obviously it can drag it from there over that logo to replace it. So uh, nice and easy, or I can always select the logo and then just hit those little three, or hit the replace logo button right there, uh, and that would replace it as well. So one of the two. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to select the text box right here. I actually select the typewriter button right here. And I can just, this is what makes it a little bit easier to make it edible, and I can just put my name right there. Uh, and I could just put, uh, you put office name. I actually put your realtor. There we go. Perfect. We got the front page already done. Now well, let's move to the next page. We'll just go ahead and click right there. And that's going to take us to the next page. Now it should auto save. If you ever want to just be sure, you can always hit save right in there. We'll jump to the next page though. And as you can see, this gives opportunity to write a personalized letter to your clients uh, for that year or for that quarter. Uh, so you can say dear current and future clients uh, and you can just start editing and uh, addressing things right there. Uh, so feel free. It already has like a personalized letter that you can do uh, and utilize. So if we want to, we'll go to typewriter right here and we can just, uh, if we wanted to utilize this pre-made text right here, maybe I'm just not feeling creative for the day. You would just need to change a couple of things like 
plus you'll find some of, and if I'm since I'm not a team, I would just keep it at my, so I'll just use my most popular local listings, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then we'll change this to I am, because it's not we are as a team. I am just a phone call away. And then finally, we'd put uh, insert photo of signature or company logo. So I can insert all that stuff right there if I wanted to. So uh, I would just drop all that in there and we'll hit save changes and that would be good. Um, if I wanted to um, add my personalized logo right here, I could always click that to drop that in and even like maybe throw it in this corner or something right there. Uh, so then I have that. Of course, replace this logo right up here, just like we had before. And we're just gonna do that. And a note for me. So if I had, a, if I wanted to use one of my images here, I can just drag and drop that right on there. And now I've got my uh, nice looking headshot right there. Can always edit it right there. Um, and, you know, make different changes to it. I can always double click on it. Uh, if I wanted to, you know, change the roll to like, or the size of it. I want to do like that whatever i want i can change it however uh to personalize it to me a note from garrett i would change the text right there just like i've done with everything else just to move forward though we're gonna just jump up to the next page though and from there quarter in review great way to give your clients some market stats of what's happened over the last quarter uh so uh obviously this would have ended on september 30th uh for that last quarter uh, that we just finished what i've suggested here uh and it's going to be up to you it has some if you wanted to show your company snapshot for st stats as well as your uh your market snapshot you can do both um or what i've done is actually we're kind of in two different markets i might put um market stats for one city i'm in reno nevada so i might put reno stats here and maybe either Sparks, Nevada, or I could even put uh, our capital of Carson City right here as well, uh, as those are markets I serve too. Uh, so you could even put a couple different markets on here uh, and, and change it that way. It's all built out with the same stats on there. So feel free to utilize it, whatever it's gonna be best for you. You could even use your personal statistics if you want it to uh, as well. Anything like that you feel is going to be best. Once you fill out those numbers though, you're just obviously going to just click on each text box, hit that little typewriter, makes it easier to see versus the little smaller numbers there and change those out. Once you're done with that page, we'll just click on that next page to keep on going. We're just going to roll through this. And here's the nice thing about these magazines. There's a lot already pre-made for us. I don't have to touch this page. It's already all done. So we're going to jump to that next page. I love that it has different uh, suggestions for basically wherever you are located in the country, has some good options for you for things. Has all these different suggestions, all pre-written for us. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't see anything that needs to be edited on here. So uh, I don't have to personalize any of that. It's all just pre-written for me. And we're gonna just move forward. Feature listing. So this is your opportunity if you have a listing that's on the market when you're printing these off. Let's promote this. You can go over right here to KWLS and search for your listing right in here. You can just search for the address uh, right in here. So I can just type in things like, uh, and start typing in an address until it pops up. Here's a listing I've got going on right now in Reno. I could just go ahead and hit select there and it'll pull in the photos to start advertising that listing. Just takes a second for it to load in and you can start dragging and dropping to replace the images. Uh, here they load in now. And as you can see, I could just go and uh, I can either select this photo and hit this. My favorite is that you could just hit that little replace button. And just like that, it's replaced that image. Uh, I can play with different pictures right there to change that up. And then I can add in all the additional details of a listing right there. I could hit listing details as all the stats on it right here. And I can start changing the address, the price, stats on the home and listing description. Here's the cool thing too, that listing description is actually right here at the very bottom. So I can actually uh, right there and hit that little replace button and it will replace the listing description. Now, if it's a little bit longer, it's gonna obviously extend out. You might have to either trim it or readjust things on the page uh, if you want to. So a few different options there. Let's just go ahead and we'll just, uh, we'll just get rid of everything from this part down, uh, just for this example. Um, then we'll go ahead and we'll put obviously my information right there so people can um, contact me directly if they're looking at that page. 
Now that we're done with that one, and we say we edited all the information of the property, we're going to go ahead and be ready for that next page. From there, we're just going to see the uh, an, another article written for us that we don't have to touch. Got some great information there of 10 ways to keep holiday stress at bay. So it has all 10 reasons on two pages. Perfect. Looks great. And then finally, it's going to have your, um, basically, I like to consider this resume. If you created the other magazines in the past, you should already have these stats and might just have to uh, update these just slightly. It has a great bio option right here if you want to put a, a little bio or anything there. And some credentials. If you don't have any credentials you want to put on there, then you can always just uh, click on these and hit that little trash can button to remove it if it's something that you don't want to highlight. Or you can change it from credentials for something and just, uh, you know, put whatever is going to work for best for you for um, in this spot. Uh, maybe for me, I'm like, eh, you know, I might have some credentials or something like that, but I'm like, maybe I don't want to um, display that right here. It's fine with that. Uh, so we'll just go right there. Maybe we'll just delete that if I wanted to. Again, you don't have to use that. So uh, this is just a template for you to work with. Uh, once I update all of this information, I have the picture there. Again, I can go to images and update whichever photo I want of me, maybe on this one. I want maybe a, a nice younger looking picture of me. <laughs> um, I can just go right from there, update obviously my, my name and information there, logo, uh, as we had before, the office address uh, information right there, and then continue on. Uh, just be sure if you do have to have your license number on anything for your state, for example, Nevada, you do have to have your license number um, on any marketing materials, be sure you do include that. Continuing onward, once we finish editing that page, we do have the success stories, great opportunity to highlight your different clients. And you know what, sometimes I, I like to take photos with my clients at closing, but maybe you don't do that, they don't want to, whatever the case is, this is a great opportunity to maybe just sh showcase a couple of homes that you have sold, and you could actually put them right in there, put the picture of the houses, and then maybe put their, uh, their feedback in of what they uh, gave you for a testimonial down here. So that's a great option as well. You don't have to necessarily highlight the actual person, but maybe the property and then, um, and then put their testimonial right there. So just a couple ideas for you. Moving on to the next page, five reasons to buy and sell this fall or winter. Don't have to change anything right here. That's great. So then it's going to have two reasons for uh, to buy this fall or winter with lower prices and less competition, as we know. Uh, so it goes over there. We don't have to change anything. So we're going to continue on to the next page where it has three reasons to sell your home this fall or winter. And it talks about, you know, obviously the motivated buyers, chance to showcase energy efficiency, and a quicker closing timeline. Uh, so some great options there and great points made. Uh, don't have to change anything right in there. Then it goes into uh, a little highlight of cool winter listings. So if you wanted to highlight a few different listings uh, right in there, you could change and you would just use that KWLS to search for those property addresses. So it would just go back to just typing in that address. You can search by MLS number or all these others as well if that's a little faster for you. Now, if you don't want to highlight six, uh, you don't have to. You could just highlight a couple of them. Heck, maybe if you wanted to, you could just um, uh, you could just delete these three in a row, make these centered slightly bigger, and just highlight three. It's going to be up to you what you're going to be um, wanting to highlight. Uh, maybe highlight some more of the markets you're wanting to get into. Uh, and you don't have to highlight specifically your listings. Highlight agents in your office's listings. Uh, you know, I'm sure many are going to be absolutely comfortable with uh, them sharing, uh, you sharing their listings out there to help get it sold. Uh, always good to ask permission just to be safe though. And then finally, once you update all that information uh, of those, then you're going to go ask an agent. Again, it's, we could use the image of, if I'm just using uh, myself as the agent, I could just go back into images, drop off one. Let's just, um, we'll do this picture this time um, and drop that in. I don't know why it's not loading in there. Um, this might be an old, this is an older picture though. Uh, sometimes I will save. Uh, 
Uh, sometimes that'll refresh it, but I think this is just a low quality picture for this example. Uh, so we'll just drag in that one. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. Ask an agent. And then it says, what home improvements can boost my property value without burning a hole in my wallet? Well, now I this is my opportunity to type in my response to this question right here. I would put my, what my opinion is uh, what of what home improvements can boost my property value without burning a hole in my wallet. Now, you can change this question if you don't want this question to be asked. And you, maybe you've got something that's been repeatedly coming to you uh, uh, recently. Put that question in there. It's a great opportunity. Obviously, put your name right there. Put whatever question you want to change that to. Put put your response, and then you're set there. Finally, you are off um, to the last page. So there's two options for you. Uh, so you have either the option to stay in to search on, uh, so people can stay in to search uh, on your KW app, where you have the opportunity to put your URL for your uh, website uh, right there. Or you can just not put your URL on there, and you can just stay on search on and tell them to download right there, and just replace your logo on either one. So you have the option, so you would just pick or choose one of those here, I uh, and you could go from there. One thing I will point out, if you intend to print this, having uh, you're going to want to be at multiples of four to get it professionally printed as a magazine, in which case you would not... Um, utilize both of these uh you would have to in that case or um if you still wanted one of these on here maybe say i wanted to keep that one i would could delete this page of the other applet as you can see there's two advertising the app let's just say well the one with the the url on there we'll get rid of no more than 17 pages let's just say i wanted to print it so i'm going to decide what page i don't want on there maybe it is the featured listings page of all those six different listings maybe it is the that like bio one of me i just don't want to deal with that one on there i can just hit the three dots and delete as well uh so whatever you if you want to sacrifice one of these pages on there to get that 16 page count to do for a printing that's all you have to do so let's just say I don't want this one on here, um, whether I'm newer or something like that. I just don't want to. Maybe I included it since I included the last couple magazines. I don't want to do it again. So we'll just go ahead and we'll uh, we'll hit delete on that one. There we go. We're at 16 pages. That's perfect. That's all we need now to um, to send it off to a printer. And this is again if you're printing it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit download. And here we go. We got PDF for printing. That is what we want. Do see whichever printer you're sending to if you want to include the bleed or not. Some will want that. Uh, also, just be sure you have all pages selected. Right now, it defaults to the page you're on. So just be sure you hit all pages and then just hit download. And right there, it's going to download the file. Now, if you do want to share this on a uh, on a platform digitally, maybe to share via an email link. I always build an email to send out to your database. So um, I'll be building that in the upcoming week so you can utilize to send out to your database. Um, and to share that link, you can absolutely share this magazine. Here's how you do that. Uh, one of the options is to upload this magazine to a different PDF like booklet viewer. There are some out there um, that you can utilize that uh, most of them being paid. There are a couple free ones out there you can test out, uh, but there is a free option right built right into here. I'm for simplicity, and all you gotta do is uh, hit share and hit the project, and this link right here, and it defaults to anyone can view, so that's good. We can just copy, <coughs> excuse me, copy that. We'll go into here, we'll paste that, and there we go, we've got the uh, it right there what we designed so um, awesome way to get that all created in there uh, and so you can share that link out if you want to so uh, super cool way you can utilize that um, lastly if you want any other command help training uh, or anything in between or maybe you want to share this uh, with my newsletter campaign where I uh, you want to utilize maybe the new email newsletter builder that uh, reports that you have. You can use my command monthly newsletters plan right here on commandconsult.com and subscribe today. But for other videos and training, you can just click on videos right there on the website to see all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching.
and have an awesome day.